I'm gonna show you in this uh, tutorial, in this week's tutorial, how you can create this uh, animation, this text animation using slides. So it's very simple. Just jump right in this video, so we don't waste, so we don't waste any second. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more tutorials. Okay, I'll start this from scratch. I delete everything. So we're gonna have to go to add elements. Actually, not add elements. Sorry. We're going to have to go to here, and then here we're going to have to go to, okay, um, no, it's actually here, sorry. Then you go to box slideshows, and then you select one of these. Make sure it's box slideshows, and it's not full width slideshows, all right? Because first when I've tried to create text animation, didn't work, doesn't work. We need box because we we can resize it with this one here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drag this one here, and when it box, we can resize as you can see, which is uh, something we want, of course. Now first, we don't need this we don't need these uh, buttons. So here in settings, make sure you change how long between uh, how long between slides your seconds. So I'll change this to three. I'll change to vertical and then you can start from the bottom or from the top. I like from the bottom. And then here we have the layout and then design. We don't have to do anything on in design, but here in animation we can add a fading, but I will not add anything. Now let's go back to manage slides. I'll remove this one here, the other one here, so there's only one. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to change slide color. I'm gonna change to color, I'll add here. We also can add a background if you want to, uh, color, sorry. And here you can add this color, whatever color you want. And then maybe if you want, you can go to opacity and decrease the opacity if you want to. And uh, now, now we change the settings here, here in layouts, we can disable this uh, show slide buttons, we don't need this here in layout. But now we're gonna have to go to add elements, text, and then I'm gonna add this one here, or you can also use this huge title, I'll use big title. Actually, no, let's use big, uh, huge title. So text, huge title. And then here I'll write tutorials about. Okay, I'll put it here, here, and then all of you I'll hold option, hold option on your on your keyboard, option and drag. You're gonna create a copy. Very useful shortcut. And I'm gonna resize like this. Sorry. Now I'm gonna move this slider here. Tutorials about weeks. Okay, I'll write this here. Weeks. Weeks step by step. And I'll change now the color to this one here. or actually not this one and then you're gonna have to go back because now because we have this text here very cool we can actually click on slide manage slide and if you actually create a duplicate it's gonna create a duplicate of this text because we added this text inside this slide okay you see there's another now there's another text now here and here here right tutorials about premiere premiere pro and I'll change the color and I'll select it, I'll add this color and uh, now, okay, my bad, sorry. And now I'll go back to slide here. We see you have two slides. Actually, I added the same color. And now I'll go here to slide, manage slides and I'll duplicate this slide. And then here I write tutorials about about Mac, Mac OS step by, by step. I'm gonna resize this very nicely. We're gonna 
change the color and then now very nicely we can we have an animation basically we click on here and then we can check here in settings that we do have apply transition effect so you can also have horizontal cross effect or vertical and now if i go to preview it should work just fine so it works without any problems okay and now of course you can edit your website this is just a blank website um i have this text here apparently here so yeah i hope uh, you found this helpful thanks for watching and subscribe for more tutorials